Next up, we will be going for our first tier 3 animal. I will be going towards insects. And to get them, we ultimately need to get to silverfish. But along the way, we will need crustaceans. So I have my setup for crustaceans here on the left. We've got our tall, complex leaves that my flatworms will eat. And then once I've got the crustaceans, we will make our silverfish. Now we have our crustaceans, and so I've created a home for them over here to get them into silverfish. They need the low complex leaves. And while I let that evolve, I'm going to actually irradiate away the flatworms, and I'm going to remove this home over here. But I'm going to keep the plants, because I'm going to need these tall, sort of single stalk type of plants in order to ultimately get my insects. So I'm going to remove the home. I'm going to use that later. And then I'm going to keep these plants. I've already got a couple of them over here. But I'm going to keep these, these clippings here so that I can use them later when I need to get my insects. And I will see you back once we've got our silverfish. We have our silverfish. Now there are a couple of important things to consider when we're trying to get to our insects. The first is that silverfish can leave the water. They can actually crawl up onto this land here. You can notice that I've changed the background of the tank. And we need that to happen in order to create insects. We need our plants to be on the land. And they need to be tall, single stalk plants. So no bushes, no shrubs, no trees. The same plant we started with to get our crustaceans. And so I'll let it run for just a little bit. We've got this type of plant. I'm going to create a couple more of them. I don't think you really need to, but just a couple more. So we've got this four node tall plant, single stalk on land. It needs to be on land in order to get our insects. And so I'm going to put my home here. My silverfish will now live over here. And they will be eating these land based tall plants that only have a single stalk no bushes no shrubs no trees and at this point you just need to wait i will take a pause and show you the step in evolution so you know what to look for but at this point all you really need to do is just wait for it to happen we now have our first new generation of the silverfish and we can see that they are on their way to becoming insects. The most obvious one is that they have these wings being developed on their back. The feelers in the front will start to change and get longer as well. But really, as long as you've got these wings showing up on their back, you know you're on the right place to get your insects. So again, we just need to continue waiting for a couple more generations and we will have our insects. We have the insects, finally. It took me about an hour. Here we go, here's a picture. Hooray, hooray. And when I did this the first time, it did not take me an hour. Uh, it took me about half that time. So I know there's a lot of variance with this game. I think after talking with the developer, it probably was because I put my home totally on land instead of in the water, but uh, there, there's just there's a lot of variables to this game and so I don't really know I don't know why it took longer but the idea holds you need to get silverfish and then you need to get your silverfish eating these single stalk not single node but single stalk plants on land and um, then you just wait then you wait for like an hour on the maximum setting um, but we've got one more animal to do, reptiles. And uh, whenever I get that finished, I will let you know. But uh, it's going to take even longer than these insects take. So I will see you in that next tutorial.